Is your number on the million dollars based on a math? And I know you're a math guy. I, I, mm -hmm. I think you got a major in mathematics, right? You, I think you got a major in mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and as somebody who's a math guy, and your brain is wired, everything is math. Did you come up with a million dollar based on a formula, or did you come up with a million dollars of assumption of what you think is going to take? I place? came out of two ways. I looked at the number of users, the user growth, and I, I chose a million because it has to be more than a million. I can guarantee it. Um, I, I came at it that way. It came up with maybe between three and seven million. I came at it the, the mining way, okay, which I believe is a lot more valid. The last Bitcoin to be mined. Okay, there's 10,000 miners. Thank you, Jimmy. The difficulty wait for that last Bitcoin is going to be almost infinite. It's going to cost four to five billion dollars to mine that last coin. And miners are going to do it. The value of that coin has got to be more than the work put in to mine the fucker. So if it costs, let's say, even $1 billion, all right, so $1 billion, the last one, why don't you work backwards from there and find out what the end of 2020 is going to be? So two ways come up with the same number. Between, that's $5 million is probably the, the thing. $1 million, it's way outside the lower range, so I'm, I'm very safe. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating watching your level of conviction that you have in it's, the, it's in not, the product. It's not a level of conviction. I look at reality as objectively, not with what I wish it would be, but what it actually is. 